most people just want to know, hey, what can this power station really run during an outage? Uh, to make sure you have lights, you can keep your food refrigerated, and you could keep your internet and maybe a laptop running. So let's go ahead and, uh, and see how this thing stacks up in those areas. So I've already pulled my refrigerator out of its little cubby hole here. I'm going to unplug it. We're going to plug it into the AC outlet here in the front, and then I'm going to turn on the AC output. Alright, and there goes the refrigerator. I can't hear the fans running in here. I can't tell. I'm not really sure if the compressor is on or not. With its current output, it says it can run this refrigerator for 28 hours. Let me go ahead and open the door, see if the compressor kicks on and if that changes that output. So it's got to not be on because we're only pulling 20 some watts of output right now. There we go. Now you hear the compressor kick on. Now it's really kicking up here. So just so you're aware, this refrigerator is kind of older and larger. When I look at the nameplate rating here, I can pull eight and a half amps at 115 volts. So if you just left the refrigerator on with the doors wide open, you'd get roughly four hours out of it according to the reading on that power bank. But uh, obviously no one's going to do that. So let me go ahead and close the doors. But at least we know, hey, this can easily run this refrigerator. During an outage, it can kick the compressor on, it can deal with having the doors wide open, it's going to continue to run. What we're going to see is once this thing gets up to temp, um, the output is going to drop significantly and it's going to greatly increase the runtime left on that battery bank. So let's go ahead and get some extension cords. 